Hi and welcome again with Amraco Tutorials uh, part 14 uh, Today our plan is to continue on the Amraco forums I think we have this last uh, maybe one one more video will be or this last video we'll see depend on the time So what we are going to talk about exactly in Amraco forums So I will show you today how to uh, export the data if you want to see your uh, data when the user end user submit his uh, form, how you can see it, where or where you can see it, and if you wanna export it, and uh, what you can say more. So uh, one more uh, things. I will talk about uh, Ambraco uh, workflow, Ambraco uh, form workflow. So we'll see we'll see this workflow and you see how many type of workflow we have. I think it's something interesting and something nice. So let me close the PowerPoint and we can go to our project. I will show you what we have. So uh, the main things we are will do today is uh, the, um, how we create Ambraco forum. And I want to do something. Uh, let me explain it in easy way. So let's suppose the user they giving uh, they giving us feedback. So how are they giving this kid back? Normally they can buy email, but we can use here something nice. We can create uh, our Ambraco forum. The user can write his name and his uh, comment or his feedback about our website. So the editor, he will check the feedback. If you like it, he will copy it and he will pass it in the front. So how we can make it more easier for the uh, editor? Uh, to handle this uh, data or the data submitted uh, using the forums so we have one option or once on one feature in the Ambraco forums special in the workflow you can take this data and save it in the uh, any node you want so I will show you this one and what we need exactly with it let's close this one and back to Ambraco so just to save time I have created a new uh, document type uh, under home page I call it feedbacks it's exactly how if you want to know how I have uh, created this one you come back uh, the previous videos how I create the uh, shifts and the menus it's exactly same logic we have used and same stuff we have used it so I just to make it uh, uh, this video uh, easier I don't want to go back again add it and back again to the forums it will be distracting you so let's suppose we have this here uh, feedbacks so the user let's suppose if the user he sent me by mail I can go to uh, feedbacks create customer feedback so I can copy the user what he sent me his mail let's suppose the username add him by just a uh, name just to recognize what I have written so the customer feedback so can copy it many times to be nice. Let's save it. So this data where will be displayed after we save this one. We come we come back to the uh, home page. I have added in the home page here. If you just refresh, you will see here uh, this is the previous one, the previous one, and this is the new one we have added. So I can even handle this stuff here uh, from the feedbacks here. I can choose how many I want how many uh, feedback to display it from content I can roll uh, just scroll this one left or right to choose how many one I want uh, that's the small introduction about it so what we'll do now we'll go to give the ability to the customer or our uh, end user to submit form or to submit his feedback so how we can do this one we can go to forums tab let's say empty forum uh, let's call it uh, let's call it feed bag uh, forum okay I will delete this one I don't need it so it will be simple forum so first thing I need the customer name let me space and could be something uh, short answer submitted and I need what I need more I need the customer 
feedback. Same here, you can you choose RT or you can choose short answer. For now, we can choose short answer. So this is our simple forum. I will save this one. So how we can call this forum? As you remember before, I can go to content under any page. I can call it as a macro. So let's go to about page, I suppose. And we can go in the RTE. After everything's here, I can say feed bag. What is it? Yeah, suppose here we can give it bold for now, or can give it we want nothing there. It's all right. So let's say under this one we said we need macro. So this macro will be forum. So I need to choose my forum, what I have created already. I call it feedback forum. I'll give the default theme for it and submit. So now if after saving this one, if I back to my uh, uh, about page, I will find my uh, forum there. So let's, let's save this one first. So after save it, let's go back to the about page. So in the about page now, I should see the rendered forum. And I can submit my data through that one. After that, we can see where's the data submitted. It will be static data. And there I will show you how to, we can export the data to. This is the about page. Let's go down, it should be somewhere here. Yeah, the feedback forum. So I can type in on a team from front, no, from about. Okay, I submit this one. So after you say thank you for us here, where is it? Here they say thank you. So I come back to my <coughs> forum. So I just want to show you where is this data submitted. If I open this, uh, my feedback forums under the entries. So under the entries, I can see what I have submit. So this is static data. So I can copy this data from here manually. I add a new, uh, uh, I can add a new, con and, and I can add new of, uh, feedback from here. But I want to make this one easier. I want that data to come straight away here. I can see it here in this page. So it should be displayed here too. So I can, <coughs> After I submit my form straight away, I should see something here new. I can pick it or uh, straight away. I can publish it or delete it or do anything with it. So how to do that one? We can back to our forums now. So just let me show you where is it our data. So here could be one line, thousand line, depend on how many forums you receive. So you can filter on this data or you can search by name or anything here you want. Or you can export your data to any type of any document you want. This this one of the the feature you can use. So, but what if I want? As I said, if what I want, if I submit that data straight away to my content. So I can do something here. They call it uh, workflow or Umbraco form workflow. So if I press here and configure workflow, I'll see already the step I have already here. So after the, we submit the forum. I will receive email straight away. Someone has submit forum. So I can add one more workflow or I can add as much as I want. So it depends on which one I want here. So let's say, let's see together what they have here uh, or the type of forums they have. So the interesting thing for me is that you can post your data if you have an API, you can post your data as XML, or save it as a XML file, or save as Umbraco content node, this one what we'll use today. And same, you can receive it as mail all the data or receive it as a, a razor template. I think there is many, many features you can use. And even here, Slack, you can uh, 
imagine that when you receive the data uh, submit it forum and you receive straight away notification on your slack saying someone submit the uh, forum so it's something nice and something cool so let's try it together to do this one save as umbraco uh, content node so i'll give it name i'll say uh, save uh, feedback okay forum so i will choose where i want to save it so i will save it as uh, customer feedback so they said to you here the customer feedback they have something called node and something called a feedback so the node name it will be the customer name let's save and the feedback it will be the customer feedback and the name of the, the name I want to display it to be the customer name so this here I have chosen what I have already added in my uh, forum and the, uh, the already exist here the node names or the, the data from the node so it's easy and simple so I have done nothing just I let's say map it together so here I want to choose where I want to display that one it will be under uh, feedbacks home so that's that it will be submitted under feedbacks let's say submit this one and again submit and save so after save this one uh, we'll go back again refresh this page I need to submit a new form let's say again write my name uh, to save content so my feedback Braco feedback okay let's say submit so I have submit this one now so this that I can find I find it two places uh, first one I come back to my entries here in under the entries so this my form it will be here if I press on this one so I got my data here so the second place I can find it where if I back to my content under the feedbacks so I should see something in you it's uh, unsubmitted data or un unpublished data so this here uh, my submitted forum it's as a, a draft if I press on this one so now if I press save and publish I back again to my front to my home page I should see that comment in the home page here so as you see this one I have submitted through the Umbraco forum and I see it in my uh, front page after I uh, submit it sure you can straight away you can leave the user they they can submit the data straight away I don't think that a good option uh, let me just show you how that's where is it exactly so if we back again to the same uh, workflow I can go down there so here if I enable this one uh, will be straight away publish it let me try one of this with you uh, let's back again to my about page so I will write a new one uh, let's call it uh, feed bag should okay so now I have after submit this one I should be straight away publish it let's go check it together go to the home page in one two three it's not here let's back again to check the data it could be working or could know but we'll check it together but they said here uh, I don't know which one I think this one maybe it take time sometime again oh no no or one two three four five yeah there are five here I already choose here only four so I need one more so that's was working fine 
so after for I save this one we can check to one more time let me just say refresh I don't know that one yeah so it should be this bracket there one two three four five yeah so this one straight away it's published but this I don't think it's a good option uh, this very briefly what's Ambraco forum I think we have so today a lot of good features in the Ambraco forum and make it easier for the editor how to uh, to manage the data you know imagine <coughs> big number of the submission rather than you copy it just you can uh, check it and submit that straight away you can do it you don't need to copy and do the other stuff just you need to confirm it and publish it uh, I don't know I will see if I found any interesting things with Ambraco in future I will try to record video if you have any idea or anything you need to know about it, uh, just write in the comment, please. I will try to do videos uh, in the future. So that's it for me, and see you again. Bye-bye.